Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of the King Kong Fly Egg 130. This is actually a really neat looking quadcopter. It looks neat. Um, it's composed both out of 7075 uh, aluminum, aircraft aluminum. This is the type of aluminum they make uh, aircraft out of, along with uh, carbon fiber, so it should be uh, pretty dang strong. Um, things about it are is it comes with uh, 1105 7000 kV motors uh, 41 uh, BL Haley uh, 10 amp ESC's all right you know built-in ESC's uh, 800 TVL camera on the front of it along it has 150 degree field of view um, it's transmitter FPV or FPV transmitter is selectable or actually it's 25 and 100 milliwatt selectable I think you got a short one of these pins though to be able to switch to 100 milliwatt I'm gonna be flying in 25 milliwatt folks uh, but it is 16 channel selectable via this little button right here on it um, you can tell which channel you're on by the color coding of there's there's LED lights here to tell you which channel you are along with the, you compare that to the uh, chart that you get in the instructions for the different channels to determine which channel you're on um, on the back of it it has nice bright LEDs along with a buzzer on here to, to warn you of low battery power unfortunately it does not have on-screen display so uh, you're gonna have to rely on the buzzer for that um, let's see you get a 350 milliamp per hour lipo battery and uh, with red JST connector but unfortunately this is this is an issue here um, that I've noticed on this particular quadcopter um, the battery connector is a uh, balance plug you're going to need to connect the balance plug to the connector. Now, what's the limitation of that? Why is that it might be an issue? Well, these balance connectors are only rated for 10 amps, usually, or not 10 amps, I'm sorry, 3 amps of power to go through them, after which they start to warm up a bit and increase their resistance. So, you know, although this has 10 amp ESCs, you are going to be limited with the current balance connector to uh, about 3 amps of power before it's it's going to be starting to slow down on that power. Um, the only comparison I can give you to is like trying to shoot uh, a fire hose amount of water through a garden hose <laughs> going through this here. So one modification that you might consider if you do get one, I heard that they're coming both with balance plugs or you know it's kind of a luck of the draw what you're getting you might want to confirm it and red JST connectors. Uh, replace this with a JST plug and if you do by chance get a version with uh, the balance plug because you'll get much more oomph out of the quadcopter. I got a feeling I'm going to be limited in the amount of acceleration I'll be seeing because of this balance plug. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's give this thing a flight and see how it goes. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, the receiver on this is FreeSky D16, 16 channel version. So you're going to have to select D16 to bind it. Um, selecting Acro and uh, arming the motors and away we go hope you enjoy this flight going up we have a bit of a breeze today so keep that in mind folks with my flying for today so let's let me get a feel for this thing first come down here by us zip by us one around the other way and let's punch it wow you hear that beep 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 you know, it's being limited again by the uh, um, balance plug on this. So let's, I want to fly it around first and see how it goes between the trees. Oh, that wind is picking up. Got to be careful here. So let me get it. Let's fly it around first. Zoom. Now I got the angle of the camera set up pretty high. Main reason being I just want to do go up and do these and these. Whoops. And that. <laughs> Disarming. Hold on, folks. Where's that, love? Just go straight. No damage. Back to the pad. Let's go back up again. And. Okay, I have an acro. Arming the motors. And away we go. Let's be a little more careful this time. <laughs> Try that. Yeah, that wind's picking up, but I'm going to continue flying in the wind. 
I think there's a frontal system coming by here soon. I hope so because it's been so hot out here lately. Hear that beeping? Again, that's, I'm pretty sure that's being caused by that, uh, um, what do you call it, balance plug. So again, you know, it's really not difficult. Uh, it is a little, you've got to do a little bit of soldering to change that to JSD connector, but I would strongly recommend that as the first thing, if, if you get a version with um, a balance plug. I'm not sure that they're still shipping those like that. Hear that beeping? Whatever, the wind's catching it. It beeps and then it stops beeping. I'm gonna wait until those beeps are steady. It's flying well. It, it is a good flyer. I'll give you that. It's just that, you know, that, that balance plug's the only issue I had with this thing. <laughs> And the battery, you can get a better battery than the one that's supplied. I mean, it's it's already beeping. Let's go over the top. Uh -huh. <laughs> and do one of those. So it's the Fly Egg from King Kong. King Kong usually makes really good stuff. Yeah, get a better battery. That's another suggestion. Okay, I'm going to start calling it quits. I'm starting to believe that battery beep. Because it's beeping, beeping, non-stop now. So let's bring it in. That's the flight of the fly egg. Ah, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Disarming. So, so I'll take that hat back on. Thank you. So the fly egg, um, it was flying nicely, nicely. The pins were, the pins were nice. Um, you know, I had a crash there. Uh, so there's only two things that I would recommend for this, you know, that is if you by chance get one, the version with a uh, balance plug, swap that out. That'll be the first thing I would recommend you do. And also the second thing I recommend you do is consider getting a better battery <laughs> than these, uh, little 35C, you know, uh, it's 350 milliamp or 35C. You get a better battery and you'll have uh, a lot of, a lot more performance. So better battery change connector but other than that it was a great quadcopter nice flyer a nice smooth fit pids uh, it was flying well in the wind you know I was able to control it easily well kind of able to control it easily I did have one minor crash here but other than that it's a great quadcopter so hope you enjoyed this flight this quadcopter 101 again with the King Kong fly egg signing out